everyone, my name is Yulia and welcome back to my island of Gooseberry. Today is the final tour of my island, yay! I finally finished it, I'm so happy about it, I'm so excited and I can't wait for you to see it. Um, I actually just finished it today, I put in some less touches, some utility poles around the island and I'm very excited about it because I'm not gonna lie, this island turned out to be way more cluttered than I initially thought it would be and so for the last two weeks it was a little bit difficult to play on it and I am a serial island restarter so I cannot wait to actually restart the island and start all over so I'm really excited for you to see gooseberry and how it turned out and it's by the way my first finished island ever so yay let's see the map first and I will show you my villagers as well so this is my map this is you can see my dream address at the bottom please visit please clap <laughs> I would really appreciate it if you would enjoy it and like it. And uh, yeah, I live right at the beach. I have Tad, Sucker, Raymond, Marshall, Shino, Wolfgang, Chevre, Pico, Kabuki, and Shari. I do use mostly a custom um, Paths. I only use in-game paths for things like farms and stuff like that. You will see further. But yeah, this is pretty much what we're working with. And let's go. So you enter the island at this little parking lot. I thought it would make sense since I would think that the Nook twins would bring their goods in here, maybe by plane or by boats, we don't know, but they will maybe need a truck to transport it. There is a little residential neighborhood right off the side, and this is where Zucker and Kabuki live. They have their own little island, look at Raymond being all business cat, walking around. I did decorate all of my villagers' uh, houses, their exteriors and interiors, so if it was my island, feel free to peek into them. I actually did not um, fully decorate my own uh, like player's house. I'm really not too good at decorating um, big rooms, such as like in players' houses, so some of them are decorated, some of them are just very small and uh, small decoration there. So this is the central plaza uh, that I decided to do, just in front of residence services. Oh, look at Tad being all cute, drinking coffee. I wanted just to give my villagers more space to sit around, enjoy the weather. Let's continue this way. So this way is, you will see um, a path up. It will be to my big residential neighborhoods where my villagers live. So on this side, we have Marshall, Raymond, and Shino. Um, I'm sorry if my island can lag a little bit when I walk because it is very, very cluttered. Um, I thought maybe uh, Raymond is probably doing his taxes here or something and enjoying fresh air. Uh, this is Marshall's home. And that is Raymond's home here. He has probably the best backyard because he has his own pool. And um, Shino is a little bit further. I thought that maybe she's into flowers, so I gave her little area to grow her flowers and maybe do bouquets and flower arranging and um, there is also a little picnic area right here um, when you can, where you can enjoy the view at the lake I really like this view I thought it looked really cool this is the first time where I try to I think to create a nice overlook area to be intentional so I really enjoyed it and here right behind residential services I have this big land bridge that also opens up a view of the lake let me just remove this so you can see I thought it was very nice I really enjoyed making it 
I actually put that cliff up yesterday. Before that, it was also flat, but I thought it would look much better. Now we go into another residential neighborhood, and here is where Shari lives. She has a little modest yard, but I thought maybe she would like to enjoy her sitting around and reading books here. And here is where Tad lives. Um, Tad is one, is my, he's my bestie. I love him. He was my starter villager and I never let him go. So I thought he should have some fun yard. And I gave him a little blow up pool, a bike, a cooler, a rubber ducky. I just thought he's so cute. So I thought it would be nice if he has it. So actually this is where we started. This is the entrance to the parking lot. So this is kind of a closed up loop of a neighborhood. And now we can just continue the way we were going. And this way. So <laughs> there are some areas with a little bit more lag on my island, unfortunately, but you know, what can you do? Oh, Sahara is here today. Okay, so this is how you get to my house. I thought it was a really nice area where it stands. I really like it. I also have a little pumpkin farm, pumpkin patch right here next to my house. And I do have decorated beaches, but they are very, it's very modest decoration of beaches. I don't like overly cluttered beaches, but I thought it would be nice to just make some area for villagers to enjoy and sit down. Let's look at the beer. It's just something, something simple. I thought I would leave it simple here. Um, let's just go continue along the road this bench Zucker really loves to sit here at night and it looks very cute when he does so let's continue further and this is my everyone is thinking today I saw Raymond thinking earlier now it's Kabuki I was time traveling so much to finish my island I think all of them now want to move out because of that um, so this is my alley of fruit trees. This is the only place on the island where I do have fruit trees. Um, there are a few spots where you can exit to the beach. I know it's really overgrown, but there are a few areas where you can exit to the beach, and one of them is here. So I thought I'd put some boats in here. And there is actually... Let's go here and visit this beach. Where I put a little... No, just relaxy cinema type of area. I thought you could enjoy watching movies there. Let's just go back. This is where Wolfgang lives and this is Chevre's house. They have matching houses as well. I tried to kind of do a matching house for each matching houses for each neighborhood so they kind of look uniform. And this is another small sitting area. Uh, here is how you get to my campsite. And let's see. Oh, I actually have a visitor today. I didn't even know. So this is another little area that I have with a little fire where you can sit and look at the stars if you want. Let's see, I want to know who is the villager, you know? My dreamy is Shep and I've never met him. If it, can you believe it if it's Shep? I already posted the <laughs> dream address today. Let's see. Okay, not Shep, Biddy. Okay, well, they have very elaborate dress, Biddy, very pink, nice to meet you. But I'm not changing my villagers on the last day. Uh, let's continue. Okay. So we'll just go back to the place where you could see it from that uh, view that I showed you from residential neighborhoods. I have a little bit of a farm here. It's just what I need for my recipes. Usually I have much bigger farms on my islands, but this one just couldn't fit more because I had very ambitious plans. This is my little fishing area that I made because this is the only lake on the island. So technically, if you want to fish for any lake fish, it's here. 
So, just wanted to make a nice cozy area. Hi, Shino. Okay, let's go down here first. This is a little picnic area that I made last moment. Just made it yesterday. Put another telescope. Cause I just don't know. I think picnics are such a nice place to observe stars. So I put telescopes everywhere where there is like picnic calling for star watching. This is a little uh, plaza park area that I did. I think you could sit here, enjoy some refreshing drinks, try to fish out a toy. And this is my first ever created rock garden. Oh my God, I was so excited when I finally finished it. It was amazing. I've never done that before. So I was just incredibly happy when um, everything came in together and I could do it. So I have some fossils here just because it's right next to museum. But first, before we see the museum, just wanted to show you the that's how you get to the secret beach, which is not so secret on my island. It's clearly accessible. And uh, let's go back here. And this is where I have my museum. I have a very big dinosaur here. Um, I will kind of want to show you the view from here because I really like it. So you can see it right from the when you enter through the bridge. And um, you can get to a museum here. There is also a road in the back if you just want a shortcut from Secret Beach here. And uh, I have a pool area here. Um, I will link a creator that I got inspired by for this pool area. So their description is going to be um, in the um, below the video but their name is Mizuku if I'm not mistaken if I'm I hope I pronounced it correctly they're an incredible creator and I saw them do something similar and I just got really inspired by it and this is my little labyrinth that just leads to this nice sitting area if you want to relax this is the only place I could come up with to put uh, the Lily of the Valley, actually, because I never used them anywhere around the island otherwise. And in the end of the labyrinth, you can come and visit this little yoga studio and just, you know, do your yoga routine, relax by the beach. Okay, let's go farther. Right. So right next to the pool and this labyrinth, I have another beach. It's pretty simply decorated, nothing really special. This is the only place where I use green mumses on my beaches. I just thought they fit well with the custom design that I put down. And we're now going back, uh, going um, back to the south of the island and to my downtown area. So this is another fishing beach I have here. And you will see now this is my able sister shop with a little cocktail area here. If we go down the street further, I have a little market. We can shop for your locally grown produce and made by hand buy me all of this canned foods and this is the nooks boys shop i thought turned out really great very convenient to have an atm here i gotta tell you and also to have a trash can nearby because sometimes i just collect so much stuff you have to throw it out there's a little gas station here because i have a lot of cars on my island so i thought it would just make sense to make a dedicated area for that if you continue going south, you will see a little basketball area. It was one of the first things I also designed on my island that it turned out really cute. And this is Pico's house. She's the only one who lives kind of secluded and by herself. Thought she's like a very much beach girl and she did not want to be like everybody else. She wanted to live on the um, actual beach. Oh, that's right, and Peninsula is right here next to Pico's house. Um, yeah, where you can just sit and enjoy. 
Obviously, I have a lot of benches around my island, as you already noticed. I just really like it to just have a little spots here and there to just to stop and enjoy the view. And uh, pretty much that is it. We return back to the parking space. So I just tried to make the silent flow. Um, I hope the lag is not too bad but it can be bad in a lot of areas so i do apologize for that i hope to i hope you will visit the island and if you do let me know in the comments what you thought of it um you can visit my instagram as well i will leave a little uh, link below uh, in the description and um, yeah the, i have a lot of pictures from the island there on my instagram and uh, i'm excited to share this one with you and also excited to finally start a new island so thank you so much thank you guys for watching the video um i hope you enjoy my tour and um yeah i see you in the next video bye